Yo, bro, is that a Breeze Pro? We're back at it yet again, bringing back the Breeze Pros back into the light for one more video. Maybe more? Oh. I mean, it looks like a normal Breeze Pro from the front, but when you flip it around, I, uh... Oh. Huh. Could you imagine if it was just that simple? And yes, this actually works. There's no charge protection on it, meaning I still have to charge it for 10 minutes and keep an eye on it. But th this does work. Now, I'm not going to trail off too much, but for everyone who is interested, if I sell those chargers for these Breeze Pros, yes, I am going to start selling them. There's a video coming out soon on that. And before I get any comments, no, this is not for sale. This just looks like a bomb. So when you recharge a Breeze Pro, let's say you charged it for 10, 12 minutes, and it lasted you a week, if not a couple days, if not two weeks, the juice at some point is going to run out. You could recharge it again, doesn't matter. The coil is going to taste horrible with no juice in it. Now, this is just an example vape I shown off in last video. It has both face plates removed and both bottom tabs and top tabs already pried up. If we go ahead and open the top, now, it usually depends whether or not the coil is up in this little pod or if it's still in here. We'll see when we get to our vape. And to refill them, it's as simple as adding juice to this coil. Now, refilling them is a lot easier than recharging them, as you only need a couple things. First things first, you're going to need something to get into those two tabs that are at the top on both sides of the disposable. In this case, I'll be using a utility knife. Or in reality, you could use a metal spudger or any kind of fine metal tool that has some pry to it. If you're using anything with any kind of blade and or razor in it, I recommend using a blade that's mostly dull. And if so, always handle stuff with care. Never obviously cut towards yourself, etc, etc. I am not held accountable if you do anything stupid. And last but not least, you're going to need something to fill it with. In this case, I have the finest salt nick, straw melon sour, and it is recommended that you use salt nick. If you use non-salt nick in these Breeze Pros, the outcome is usually horrendous. You'll get a lot of spit back. These coils just do not handle salt nick well, especially because they're already pre-soaked with salt nick. They tend to burn quick, and after recharging them, they don't last long. So to start off, we're going to need to get into the top of the Breeze Pro. I'm going to start from the back and push down between the plastic and the metal and pry towards myself to drop the blade down and under into the disposable. Now once you get under the metal and the top plastic piece, you should be able to pry up a bit on the plastic piece, just like that. And the top has risen up just a bit. I kind of blew it up a little bit there and kind of slashed into the plastic, that's on me. Now you should just be able to grab the top and carefully slide it out. Be careful not to pull too hard as the whole pod might come out with it, which it would rip free from the battery. And there we go, that was a little violent. But here's the metal coil itself with some coil poking out, which I've never necessarily seen before, which just slides up in there, and in this case our coil stayed up here because I damaged the plastic. Now we get to see the big reveal, let's see how the coil looks. Ooh, that's a little, uh, yuck. I also recommend doing this with a paper towel, or if you have any tweezers like I do, just to grab the coil to hold it because this is really juicy. If I just use my bare gloved finger and just kind of wipe on it, you can see all the juice that comes off. Now you're just going to want to take your juice of choice, go to the coil, and simply go right down the center, dripping the juice as you go. Flip it over, do the same thing. Now you can even go down the sides and up top just adding drips. If you plan on recharging it multiple times or reusing the same vape, I'm not condoning that necessarily because it can get a little gross after a while, but hey, times are tough, I'm not judging. So now that our coil is covered in juice, depending on how your vape came apart, if it's similar to mine, it should be. Just slide the cotton back ov over the center of the metal coil. Slide the top pod back over the coil. Oh, I went to give it a rip and I kind of forgot it was dead. Huh, if only I had a method on how to charge Breeze Pros, that'd be convenient. And just like that, you simply refill the Breeze Pro. Now, if this video was easy to follow along, please leave a like and leave a comment down below what type of juice did you use, what flavor, and how did it come out? Did you mix cherry lemon with anything, or did you mix... What even is this? Pina Colada with anything? Thank you all for watching, I hope you're all doing well.